Hello guys, uh, welcome again. Okay, quickly, this is how you're going to uh, uh, format your your spreadsheet so that your time spreadsheet should, should look neat and don't have long versions of time. For example, you can see here in South Africa, the, ver the version here is long, United Kingdom. Actually, here I've put one, one format. So I'm going to show you how to change it quickly. So I'm going to highlight this area. Okay, let me highlight this area only and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to format cells and you can see here, 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 it's gone time and it's got, if you check here, all these options, your caution paper doesn't come in this format. So you have to change from English South Africa. So you have to change that. So we're going to move to, uh, uh, at the, you scroll down. And you're gonna look for English United States English United States and if you could check here on the United States you got a short version of time like this one here it says uh, 130 clean so when you're doing time sheets that's what you need you don't need seconds so you're gonna change your time to English United States and you're gonna click OK you can check you can see it has changed so make sure that you change your you, you format all your cells so you're not going to format them one by one if you're doing a time sheet so if you're doing a time sheet i'm going to move to time sheet now if you're doing a time sheet you're going to do your table and then you're going to highlight your area where you're going to put your time and then you're going to right click and you're going to go to format cells and you're going to go to time and then you're going to look for united states on united states and if it's on the side, just just click OK. So when you type it, type in your time there, it doesn't go on a long format. It stays on the short format. So that's how you calculate time. Uh, actually, how does how you set up your spreadsheet for time? Now I'm gonna quickly show you how to calculate time. Okay. Now how to quickly do a formula or, or calculate or uh, uh, or complete your time sheet? This is how you complete your time sheet. And then uh, what is important is that if you're calculating time, you must know that the answer that they're looking for, it cannot be time. It's total number of hours. So hours cannot also look in the format of a clock of a time. For example, if you get your answer to, to look like it's one o'clock or nine o'clock, it must look like a nine. It must be a number. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if you're calculating this, how, how many hours did this guy work, you're going to do uh, if you go, for example, equal sign, you do open bracket, and then you go in the morning. Uh, let me firstly do an example. I go when he left in the afternoon, subtract when he came in in the morning. Then I close the bracket. And then you have to multiply your whole formula by 24. That's the formula to calculate time. If I press enter here, you say I did time out minus time in. It must give me total total uh, hours he worked. I didn't consider the lunch for now. I just want to demonstrate something. And I press enter. See, it gives me zero, zero, zeros because I didn't format my cells. Now I have to now format my cells. My, my cells cannot be on a time format. They must be on general. If I go on general, now it says it's nine hours it says nine hours in total so that's what i'm looking for i want total number of hours i don't want one o'clock or 12 o'clock it must give me total hours so you must format where your answer is going to be for numbers or general numbers and then remember to multiply by 24 to get your answer and put your answers in brackets because because sometimes your your formula is long. I'm going to show you because now we're gonna include the uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna include the the lunch time because we can others in this one they can say to, the total of this one minus one hour because they can see it. But let us do the long format. I'm gonna do equal sign, open bracket, time time in the morning, time out in the morning when he went out for lunch minus time in the morning then you close the bracket then you say plus you're gonna add that then you open the bracket then you say time in the afternoon minus 
time he came back from lunch, close bracket. You know, close the bracket. And then if you can see here, I've got open bracket, open bracket, open bracket. In this format, I cannot multiply by 24 because I didn't apply what you call pot mass because this is statistical. So I have to put other brackets at the big two brackets at the beginning. If it's like this, it means I've bracketed the whole format, the whole formula. And then I'm gonna multiply everything. My answers that comes from there must be multiplied by 24. And then I'm gonna multiply by 24 and I'm gonna put enter. So now it tells me it's no longer nine. It is eight because it has subtracted the lunch hour. So that's how basically you calculate time. Remember the form the formula you do if you've got time in time out and you went for lunch you have to subtract that uh, uh, the lunch hour so that you get the total time he worked so basically that's that's how you calculate time the formula for overtime is gonna be that if he normally works eight, eight, eight hours there will be no overtime however if they tell you that uh, if you let's say he worked uh, 15 hours it's gonna be the normal working hours is eight, so it's gonna be whatever you find in here minus eight. It's gonna be a zero. For example, the formula in here is going to be it's going to be equal sign total hours minus eight zero. Why? The normal working hours are zero. So if you put a formula there and you do all your table, you're gonna have automatically, it's gonna calculate the overtime. So that's how you calculate time. If in case here, yeah, it was uh, 1900 hours, let's put 1900 hours. You could have worked 10 hours and you was gonna have two hours of overtime. So basically that's how you cal calculate time guys. And then I hope you understand it uh, because this spreadsheet is gonna appear on computer practice it's going to appear on CFS N6 for timesheet for labor cost. You're going to find that. And I think also on computer practice N5. Thanks for watching. You can share this with uh, f so your fellow students. And then hope you watch more videos. We're going to be posting more videos during this uh, examination period. Thank you. Bye-bye.